G'day guys, my name is Drew Jackson. I'm here with Cliff Antes, our Chief Boat Tester from Quintrex. And we're here today to uh, run through our new Quintrex 5800 Yellowfin model. And uh, today we're going to take it offshore and put it through its paces. So Cliffy, with this new model, it's the uh, smallest uh, plate boat in the, in the Yellowfin range? Yeah, definitely right, Drew. Yeah, it's our um, our entry level offshore boat, I'm guessing. Um, get people interested in um, in that big game fishing, you know, like get out and have a play. So Cliffy, the new 5800's got 5mm bottom sheets, 4mm side sheets, rated at 115 horsepower, 126 litre under 4 fuel tank. Construction is like an egg crate form, uh, gib system we call it. So uh, it locks up the floor and all the structure nice and tight to give us a nice, nice strong finish. The nice, uh, the sharp front entry will give us a nice smoother ride um, for the rougher conditions. And the chine being a full length, it actually gives us a bit more lift in rougher conditions. So the boat's more sure footed um, and, and good in direction, you know. And um, the 5800 uh, beam wise, it's actually one of the being this boat on the market in this segment? Yeah, that is correct. It's, it's 2.4 measures. So 2.4 wide, so yeah. very stable, safe, safe riding hull. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. Okay, so this is the second part of the quick release system to fit into the boat. Um, and obviously from there, we'll move up to the bow spit. We've got a twin roller system. Nice, easy roller system for the rope to guide through. As you can see here, we've got some nice solid bow rails. Um, you know, not only does it give it a good look, but also when you're loading on and off the boat, you can something to grab onto. Um, with the, the cabin itself, um, back here we've got some standard uh, outrigger plates. So if you're obviously doing a lot of offshore fishing, wanting to you know, run multiple rods, you can actually mount some outriggers on there. Uh, moving up to the uh, to the actual windscreen itself, uh, tempered glass uh, all the way around, so you give, give good viewing when you're actually driving the boat. Um, in, on the hardtop itself, you can see there's a grab rail. Uh, along the side, so when you're again loading on and off the boat, something to hold on to. Another little cool little feature is a uh, water deflector here on the on the on the side of the gunnel. So if water does run down the side of the boat, it'll actually get deflected off. And another standard feature of the hardtop is our windscreen wiper itself. So if you're copying a bit of spray over, uh, obviously you can clean the windscreen so you can you know, see where you're actually going. Uh, a unique feature of that is it does actually come with a fresh water spray to actually clean the windscreen itself as well. You see here with a hard top here, this one actually comes with a uh, rear facing LED light kit. So when you're out fishing at night time, it actually gives you plenty of light to see what you're actually doing. Um, another cool feature with the, uh, the rocket launcher is the easy access to the rod. So you can see with this one here, just clip, clip it off, nice easy access to the rod, take it out, put it back in, clip it back up, and away you go. Uh, so you've got five of those up on the, the hard top. We've got two uh, rod holders each side of the boat. Uh, coming back to the uh, rear of the boat here, we've got a nice big bait station with, again, five more rod holders. This side of the boat here, we've got a live bait tank uh, with viewing window, so you can actually easily grab your liveys when you're offshore fishing. This one comes with a standard uh, rear lounge. Um, so uh, again, that is removable. We can fold it down or actually take it out. So we've got a 75 litre fuel tank with uh, self-draining floors. We've got side pocket storage. Uh, we've got seat frames here to allow Esky uh, slide in storage. So we're now standing at the helm with the 5800 Yellowfin. Um, as you can see here, it comes uh, standing with a couple of seats. You have the captain that navigate the seats, both both uh, swivel and actually on sliders, so you can move them forward and back to give you plenty of room when you're actually fishing or actually driving, operating the boat. And um, you can see here with the dash itself, there's plenty of room to actually flush mount all your gauges and instruments. You can see this one here is fitted with your Lowrance HCS9 um, with a Chirp transducer. Um, obviously radio, all your instruments uh, over there as well. Um, gauges up here on the, on the dash. Heaps of room here on the dash, grab rail, uh, drink holders. Uh, plenty, of, plenty of room for everything that you're doing in this boat.
All right, so moving forward into the cabin, the 5800 Yellowfin, you can see it comes with a V uh, berth bunk there. Um, so plenty of storage up underneath each of the seats here. So if you're actually wanting to store all your gear, particularly when you're going offshore for the day, you can move all your gear out of the way to keep the, the fishing space free. But also if you are actually going overnight, you can option it with a uh, infill bunk. So you can actually make it a full uh, bed. Uh, you can actually get, it, get in and away from the elements. Okay, moving to the back of the boat. On the transom here, we have our burly bucket fitted, um, and we also have our self-draining deck, which is a one-way, one-way valve system. And then we move down here to our Volvo Pana Auto Electric Tabs, um, and then also we're fitted on the other side here with our Lowrance Total Scan Transducer, um, and then obviously fitted standard with hydraulic steering for the outboard. Um, we're fitted with the 115 here today, maximum horsepower. So um, let's get out and test this thing out. So there you have it guys, the Quintrex 5800 Yellowfin. As you can see, uh, on 50k winds, metre and a half swell, this is an ultimate offshore fishing boat. So for more information and your local dealer, jump on to quintrex.com.au. We'll see you out there.